All right, so how's it going, everybody? We're back playing some Pokemon. And I think when I left off, I actually thought this was a new town, I believe, the last time I recorded. And this is totally the same town, big town we've been to, but I guess the Pokemon Stadium thing changes on, like, changes based on whatever gym trainer. Because I bought the first whoever we fought, and then I think. Or is this the first? No. I can't remember the first time we fought here. Anyway, we're fighting at the Pokemon Stadium thing. And this is the same town we've been to before. That's not a new town that I thought. And I guess we're going to go fight Kabu. Kabu? Kabu? Fire guy. Leveled up. Some Pokemon because apparently... I totally forgot I had Jazeel. And I was like, wait, I don't really have any water Pokemon. I thought it was just a Gyarados. But then Buddy traded me a Larvitar. And I leveled up. Kind of sucks I saw... Pupitar doesn't evolve to Tyranitar until level 55, so we gotta use this stupid idiot. I should have just kept it Larvitar until then. Because Larvitar looks way cooler than. I think sub fighting or sub fire stuff is weak to fighting, so we did catch him a choke. Drizzle water, Gyarados got water. And Karkal has that one rock. Or is it ground? I think it's rock. Smackdown, so give it a shot. Let's see, I think we should be. Oh my gosh, please don't tell me I have to fight this idiot. Oh wow, cool. You know, my strongest team is definitely, but still one. Get a shift on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can also. I'm just gonna see what those people have to say, but whatever. Probably something. Not, oh my gosh, he's here too. Okay. That's a welcome sight. That's a hard mission. Uh oh. I guess test thing or whatever. It's a bit different. I'm kind of curious what, what the. Is this going to be like racing or something? Because I see tracks. I hate racing so much. And I don't really hate it. Like I mean, I'm thinking of like car racing and stuff. But like any like. Earn five points. Catch your one or earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass. Or two points for catching a Pokemon. Or what? Wait, there's like... What? Status conditions are getting burned millennia. What the heck is that? This is weird. Can I one shot it? So I can just win? What are, can I attack a teammate's Pokemon? No way that just did that. That crap attack. Or wait. They did totally attack my Pokemon. Didn't it? I have to go back a lot. I'm pretty sure they attacked my Pokemon and made me flinch so I couldn't attack. Unless I'm just thinking it was because I thought it was. Cause they both start with S's or whatever. Is that like it? Is it safer just to like one Deagle Mall? Cause then like I get the points even though I know oh I'm gonna get both of them yo let's go <laughs> wrecked suck it dude
Wait, what if I get minus points for taking out that guy's Pokemon? Which I don't think it should matter. It's like, I don't know you, dude. You know, go, go find your own Pokemon. Is that a Litwick? Have we seen Litwick in this game yet? I don't think we have. Because I know around Halloween, it's December now. Or was it this 26? 27. Today's my mom's birthday. It's like just after midnight, so it's not like I forgot her birthday. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to use Bulldoze, knock both, get them. And uh, oh my gosh, it has 5 HP. Come on. But uh, yeah, in ho around Halloween time, they released uh, Litwick. Which I didn't find that many Litwick in Pokemon Go, which kind of sucks. Is that it? Uh, I'm good. Oh, they like respawn? I'm just gonna go with fainting on. See who used it. It has to be their stu this idiot's dumb pokey. Yeah, hundred percent your Pokemon's getting killed. Cause then the Slizzly P goes after. Wow, that did we can catch this one now because your Pokemon's gone. This other trainer's an asshole, like I mean, I know I was trying to do what. Do I have to actually catch it? But yeah, Litwick. Cool Pokemon. Very new to me. <laughs> kind of want to get a Litwick Pokemon card. I don't know if they have them. Be kind of cool. They should give me two points. And some... Pokedex entry, that's cool. Wait, is it three points or two points? I was gonna say, how come they... They shouldn't be able to fight them, they didn't do anything. Okay, we full now. Oh, that's dude. What's up, dude? Oh, he's not going to say anything. So that was the mission? That was, like, not difficult. Unless I, like, had too, way too big a brain and was using Earthquake that take out both the Pokemon so they couldn't catch it. The fact that you're here means you bested both Milo's Grass-type Pokemon and Nessa's Water-types. Still like Nessa. She cool. She likes to fish. Cop. Ooh, Ninetales. Cool. Ninetales is always cool Pokemon. I don't think we want to Dynamax. Yo, t level 25? Is that like Burn or something? Yeah. Oh, if it doesn't go all the way, what the hell? Oh, that was sick! Whatever that shed skin thing is. Alright, because like, I don't know if you can catch Larvitar at this point or not. So I've, I'm not exactly sure. 
So I do just like a tiny percent of me that feels kind of bad for using the larva, which is now a peep jar. Because it's like, I, wait. Oh, I taught it Earthquake before, and then now it wants, no, I taught it Bulldoze. Earthquake better? It's 100. It's a 60. Does this attack? It's basically the same. It's 10 less moves, though. But 40. But also. It's better. But 40 more damage. And it still attacks the surrounding Pokemon. Which, in this case, was absolutely perfect for this gem. <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure, like, the Gyarados I have and my Drizzle or whatever would probably just be powering through this anyway. So I guess it's not the biggest problem. Yo, shut it. Oh, come on. Don't tell me he's going to get me like a flinch vortex here. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, that would not be fun. Super effective. All right, we're gonna. Ooh, perfect. I was gonna say we're gonna. Or we should use our. Jazeel guy. What? Senta Scorch. Yeah, let's switch. I don't know if the choke would be. Good. You know what? We'll do this guy. He'll look cool, Dynamaxed. Like that fire, get your mind moving. Kabu, hope it. Whoa, it went away. I didn't push any. What the hell? I wanted to read that. That kind of looks cool. <laughs> Whatever kind of Pokemon that is. I don't know. I wanted to do like. I guess I could have used Rain Dance and then Dynamax or whatever. <laughs> the Gyarados looks awesome. Burn bright like Gigamax. Change your size. Why is it? Automatically scrolling through. Yeah, that looks cool too. Gigamaxed or whatever. <laughs> the way Gyarados is just staying. Mm. But not cool enough. And then it started raining. Oh, that's well. That's cool. That so if it did survive, it the next one would be I think powered up because of the rain. Okay, so say so yeah. Now I don't feel as bad because the Gyarados probably would have been able to do the exact same thing the Pupitar did. <laughs> great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. Often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Yeah, you weren't. I, I say I, I saw you as more as a speed bump, dude. You know, and not even like one of those speed bumps you have to super slow down for, like like one of those really wide ones that just kind of like barely raises you up. You know, that kind of speed bump. Basically, I'm trying to say this guy was free. Oh yeah, level 35. Let's go.
What the heck? Hop had trouble with this idiot? Oh, whoa, it picked Pupitar. Okay, who is this creep? I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym bows. Let's take this TM to come in, right? Wood Wisp. Use your shoots at center. Take one of our uniforms. <laughs> I want a water uniform. Head back down in the wild area surrounding this city, then make your way. Oh, I, oh, is that the really big city I couldn't go to? Yo, all right. So when I was powering up the larva, because my friend traded it to me, you know, the level one. I guess he was breeding it, and I think he was saying the stats. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to talk to this idiot. I was gonna show the pupitar, larvitar, pupitar. I'm just going to call it Pupitar from now on because that's what it is. But it was a Lavatar when I got it. But it was level one, and I think my friend was breeding it. And he said it has, I think it's like the some of the best stats that you can get, uh, like, to start. Or, like, I don't know. I don't know how the stat stuff still came. Oh, I bet you can already tell I'm the one who will be the next champion, yeah? Maybe just give up on gym challenges. I make a point to see how many sure we're able to defeat me. Oh, it's them. Who's the other guy? Let me send you off to the post. Sporty champ. Hustle, 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 hop. Hustle, 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 hard. How many other people have made that? You could do it. You could do it. <laughs> All right. I like it, Cabo. Kaboo, 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 dude. Come on. So I think this is the city I tried to go to, but they wouldn't let me in. Which is right. I'm pretty sure because I remember them saying I have to beat the kaboo guy, kaboo guy, before going. Hello again. Wild area. Oh my gosh, will Hop just run off already? I don't I never want to see him again. Yeah, but it's only up to level 35. But yeah, what I was just starting to say is I was leveling up to oh this idiot. Oh my gosh, they can just keep bringing in idiots. Every time I'm trying to explain something. The champion really must have been off with his rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish! More like you don't need enough. Right? Yep, exactly. This guy's an idiot. Yes, go battle hop. Keep going. No challenge. You are not my greatest rival, first of all, hop. But this guy did get bodied. What the heck is prattle? Is that some EU word? So if Hop and this guy could just keep fighting each other for the rest of the game, that would be amazing. <laughs> so then we don't have to keep being bothered by freaking Hop. But yes, when I was lar leveling up the Larvitar to Pupitar, we went over this area. And there's like a few times I've found like a little over level 50 uh, Steelix. And... Machamp, and that power boosted the heck out of me, but they were like, uh, that Snorlax is probably high level. That's Scaropi or whatever. But, oh no, we don't have the but. I mean, that's actually really cool about the, you can switch Pokemon on the go kind of thing now. What was that thing? Ew. But, Yes, we've been through here trying to level up that. I don't think we can fight that. Or I don't think. Is that Garbodor? Is that what that's called? Isn't that a really good Pokemon card? For like the trading card game? I've dabbled in it, the, on, the online one. Oh my gosh, he ran right. He was going left and he faked, faked left and went right. And acted like he was faking. 
Level 40 is anything not very effective. Can I just run? Oh my gosh. No! Dang it! And it oh, it worked. Okay. Not dang it. That's like I was like, I thought it was gonna be an attack. Oh but that's cool. But yeah, I've dabbled in the trading card game. It's pretty cool. I kinda wanna there is like a card it's actually a comic book shop. Which I've been saying I've been sort of recently getting into comic books. If you don't know, I I've been like past couple couple years I got into baseball cards because I go to a lot of spring training games here for St. Louis Cardinals and Florida or Florida Mars, Miami Marlins. Same thing is, I guess. But uh yeah, then I was like, I wonder what's going on with Pokemon cards and I like looked up some YouTube videos and saw it's actually Pokemon's going pretty strong still uh, not like it was but it's still it's still pretty popular and stuff I, I, I can't actually believe a lot of the cards are super valuable like not quite sports card level yet but they're pretty good like the dang first edition Charizard which I I remember seeing them as a kid for I think it was like $125 Hundred fifty. I like literally can remember being. It's actually funny what I was saying about the comic book shop. What I was gonna say is, kind of want to go try and play the card game like, in IRL in person kind of thing. But it's at a comic book shop that's also like Magic and Pokemon. But it's actually really funny because it's the same co co uh, card store shop, comic book shop thing that I went to get cards when I was a little kid, like ten, eleven years old. It's still there. It's kind of cool. I should actually go there. Just to look at everything. I don't have to buy anything. But uh, I remember being in that store seeing first edition Charizard for like $125 as a kid, like looking over the counter through the glass thing. Like I can vividly remember that. Except for it's $125 or $150. I can't remember. <laughs> One of those two. Super expensive. Well, absolutely dumb to buy that for a 10, 11 year old kid, you know, but in really good condition, that can be like. 30 40 50 thousand dollar cards so uh completely understand my parents not buying that for a kid back then but if only which i still remind my mom about that i was like remember that time you wouldn't buy me the card yeah and i showed her the ebay stuff and i'm like look at what it's worth now but i can't do anything about it but i do have i think like Possibly the next best thing is like the Shadowless Charizard, which is like the exact same card, but it doesn't have first edition. It's still also kind of valuable in really good condition. I don't think mine's in. I think it's like. like people like to call it like. Oh my gosh, why are there so many of these zigzagoons? It's like collector kind of edition. It's like not perfect condition, but still really good condition kind of thing, you know? So I gotta find them. I have a ton like old Pokemon card because I got around I got out of Pokemon cards Pokemon in general like like card lot like I basically like off the cards because that's what I was mostly into I do remember getting gold Pokemon gold and silver I think was the other one but I'm pretty sure I never really played it yo you want to body this guy Gyarados is super OP for this because if it's the same moveset as the other couple, none of his moves affect Gyarados. <laughs> oh, and it's already raining, yo. But yeah, so like, base set Pokemon cards, jungle, fossil, caught them all, yo. But uh, I think I may have a few of the Japanese cards from, is it Gen 2 to call be called or whatever? Because my aunt and uncle in Japan would send me some. But not much. Oh no, it's not. I need the rain go away. What the heck? So yeah, we could do the level 50. Oh, we flinched also. Nice. So see, we could do this. I think we're going to beat this guy's butt. I'm going to stop the recording here. and Oh my gosh, it's one. Whoa, that affected me. 
I think that's like the first time I've been hit by an attack by him. Weird. Okay. Yeah, look at that XP. Let's go. Okay, cool. So I think I'll stop it here. And I'm pretty sure up there is where we're going to go. And I'm just going to run straight there. So as always, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed.